What's going on, YouTubers? And welcome to another episode of Super Retro Geek. And as I um, had stated on the last episode, that uh, this episode is going to be a little different. Um, I'm not going to be doing app reviews for a few episodes because I'm actually doing a multi-part series on how to use Android. And I know probably the people who do come and look at my videos, they probably already know how to use Android. But um, I love technology and it's always cool um, to learn and to teach people about technology, especially if you enjoy it. And so this is probably mostly for the newbies, um, for people who have, are never probably ever used Android, maybe even people who've never used a smartphone. And also for people who have, are coming from a different platform, you know, coming from Apple devices or Windows devices, and who just want to know a little bit more on Android and how to actually use it, okay? Now, before I begin with the episode, I noticed that on the last video that I made, I noticed that I had two subscribers. And so I was pleasantly surprised, and I just want to say thank you to those two subscribers. Um, and I know there will be more coming, but I just want to say a big thank you to them. Okay, so part one is what is Android? And as you can see, uh, I've had this uh, big green robot in front of me. And so for most people, uh, they've probably seen this robot before. This is actually the Google Android mascot. Uh, its name is Andy, or in some places they might call him a bug droid. Uh, but whenever you see Android, you'll probably see this little guy. So. I'm going to start off with the pictures of a few devices and I'm going to explain to you why I'm showing them to you. So, as you can see, these devices are all a little different. Some of these devices you might be familiar with, like the LG G3, the HTC One 8 M8, and the new uh, Galaxy Note 4. So, why am I showing you all these different devices? Well, all of them are running on Android. Wow. So you have a phone, a tablet, a TV, a media game player, a laptop, and even a watch. So why is that important and, and why are they running on different devices? Well, this is where um, we get to the explanation of what Android actually is. And I'm going to do this by using an analogy. So all those different devices, they're actually hardware. They're physical items. Okay. And so the best analogy that I could use is the human body. So think of hardware as the body. Okay. And then think of Android, which is actually a software as the brain and so all of those devices run on the same software so none of them would work they would actually be useless without the software to run it which is android so similarly for a human without their brain they're just a piece of flesh with guts <laughs> so they're, they're useless the same thing would go for all those pieces of hardware that you saw without some software, in this case Android running it, um, they would be useless. So that is what Android is in a very simple nutshell. That's what it is. It's actually the brains that helps run all these cool devices that you're actually using. So let's go back to the pictures real quick. And you're thinking, okay, that makes sense now. You know, I got the hardware the body and then I got the brains the software running it so how come I have this galaxy device and it looks different than this HTC device or this LG device and when I said different I mean the look the software that's actually on the screen well for most people I don't think that they're aware that they all run on Android but this gets into the second part of this uh, this first part of what is Android. In Android, unlike other uh, software operating systems like Apple's devices, um, if you pick up an Apple device such as an iPhone or an iPad, the software 
pretty much looks exactly the same. You know that you're picking up an Apple device, okay? Or even a Windows phone. Windows phone devices pretty much look exactly the same, uh, software-wise, okay? But in Android, you can actually change the way the software looks. So think of it this way. Uh, think of uh, the software, the way it looks, they call it a launcher, or in some cases a skin. Think of that as clothes. So you could change the way it looks. You could change your clothes, going back to the human analogy, you could change your clothes on your device. So in this case, this is something uh, that is familiar to most people who use Android or most smartphones. They look similar, so your apps are right there and you can scroll by and you could go back. But in Android, I could change the way this looks. So let me show you an example. This is still Android, but it looks way different. So a lot different than the interface that I just showed you a second ago. So that's Android in a nutshell in terms of the way it looks. So that was really quick going through that, but I think it's really great to have a basic understanding and I think it's even better when you have an understanding that people can relate to. So to quickly recap on this, re this part, think of like a human body. You have the hardware, which is your device that you're using. Then you have the software, the brains, which is Android. So, and as I stated in Android, you could change the clothes. You could change the way it looks. So that is Android in a nutshell. I hope that was useful. Um, and if you had any comments, please leave them below on that. And on the very, very next episode, um, I'm actually going to be doing a more like how you actually use this. You know, and it, like, I get, like I said, this is going to be a very basic overview. And as we go through the series, some of it is going to get a little bit more technical. But overall, this is to teach people how to use Android. I hope you all of you enjoyed this episode. And like I said, if you had any comments, leave them below. And if you like my videos, please subscribe and we will see you on the very next episode.